of people living along what is classified as a private roadway in Bedford County say they want help maintaining it. Old Fire Trail Road has been in bad condition for years, but continues to be used by public traffic, and now neighbors say logging trucks are causing more problems. WSLS 10's Rob Manch took a look at both sides of the situation. People living here on Old Fire Trail Road tell me they brought a petition to the county last March with more than 60 signatures asking for something to be done about this road. Now, logging trucks like these are driving up and down the road on a daily basis, and neighbors say it's only making the problem worse. Dennis Robinson tells me he had a first-hand encounter with one of those trucks just this week. Yesterday, I was trying to get into town. I had to wait about 15 minutes because it, the road was blocked. It was so muddy down there that they had to get a bulldozer in and pull the 18-wheeler uh, off the road. Robinson says trucks getting stuck on Old Fire Trail Road is nothing new, but it really affected him earlier this year when he had a medical emergency. I went to go to bed, and all of a sudden I couldn't move, so... My wife called the ambulance, and it was a little over an hour before they got here, and I'm, I couldn't move, and I was scared out of my mind. That story scared other residents like Hugh Brown, who has spine and knee issues. Being disabled makes it very hard to get in and out of here. VDOT says the road has to be improved before it can be brought into the state system. There's about an early estimate of 800000 to a $1 million worth of improvements that would have to be made to bring that road up to that standard. Spokesperson Jason Bond says through a revenue sharing program, VDOT could pay half. The rest would have to come from Bedford County or the people living on Old Fire Trail. In a statement, County Attorney Patrick Skelly said, quote, historically, the County of Bedford has required the landowners to come up with the 50% stake themselves. I asked Brown, who lives off of Social Security, if he thought that could happen. Impossible. The residents don't have it. Not only do they not have it, many don't feel like it's their responsibility. It's a public road, but we have to privately maintain it, and we have to pay all the money. In the meantime, Robinson says even a small commitment of minor maintenance from Bedford County would ease his concern. <laughs> this is kind of a scary situation. With snow in the forecast this weekend and with no help in sight from the state or the county, people living here tell me they've already laid gravel down in the hopes that once the weather's finished, the road will still be passable. In Bedford County, Rob Manch, WSLS 10.